Hey guys, it's Vanessa and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be my first week testing out antidepressants for my depression and my anxiety. I will be testing out stimulants later for my ADHD. You will see the whole process, every single thought I had, every mood I was in, all the ups, all the downs. It has officially been a week and I will let you know that there is a silver lining in it all. Just a warning, some parts of this get really, really, really sad. This was my process. Today I am finally gonna go to see a doctor. Woke up so anxious and I don't expect to feel the way I do right now. I'm really excited. What is wrong with me? I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm still super anxious and so something I've been doing recently, I've been going on runs or walk, really does get my mind off of things. If your playlist isn't the same as if you're getting ready at a pregame, like, you gotta work on your playlist. I could count to demonstrate the way she made my mind spin out of control. What part of me think that is unhealthy? Just like have a well, don't make you wealthy. But to take a risk. Silently struggled with this for so long. I'll give a little update after probably. <sighs> This guy was amazing. Oh my god. He listened. And I know it's the bare minimum, but he listened. Got a diagnosis. Diagnosis? Diagnosis? I have depression and anxiety and ADHD, which are things that I all knew, but I wasn't confirmed. This guy was my last hope for real. Like, if this guy told me that I was fine, I'd literally look at him and be like, are you- am I the problem? <laughs> Morning. Today is day one. My head hurts so badly. My ice machine needs to shut up. Let's go. I know that today is an off day already because of the way I woke up and the way I felt when I woke up. I'm kind of scared because I'm just kind of scared. I got prescribed Zoloft. Don't exactly know much about it. Here's the first tablet. Well, down the hatch. No thoughts. Let's just do it. I have a fear of big pills, so honestly, that's kind of lit. You're supposed to take it around the same time every day. I'm deciding to take it in the mornings around 10. It's kind of stuck in my throat. The side effects, drowsiness, which I already had when I woke up, dizziness, which I already get sometimes because I get lightheaded, dry mouth, which my lips are already so dry because of the weather changes, loss of appetite, so oh, nice, I already struggle with eating right now, increased sweating, I woke up sweating, diarrhea, guys, I've had uh, that's TMI. An upset stomach. My stomach already hurts right now. Trouble sleeping. I already have trouble sleeping. So honestly, I feel like all it can do is it can get worse. I'm about to go to a coffee shop to do some work. I'm listening to a podcast episode right now. Evan sent it to me. A conscious way of living as an adult. I resonate with a lot of things he said. I tried taking him and homie keeps wanting to go home. Let's take him back. I feel not lightheaded, but like I couldn't tell you. It's also because my eating has been kind of poor recently. So I don't know if that is it. It's such a nice day out. 64 degrees in the middle of February. I'm currently editing. This looks so fire. That is so good. That is so fire. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a nice, simple, good day. I don't feel good. I left the coffee shop within an hour. I just feel like I'm not awake. Also in the past like literally 11 days, I've not slept longer than five hours. My body just is so tired. I'm so sad. Why am I so sad? Out of nowhere I could just go my head is like really pounding. My appetite's gone. I have no life in my voice right now. I don't feel great. I also feel kind of nauseous. I just want my mommy. I'm gonna start crying because I want my mom. I want to lay in my mom's arms. This is stuff that I deal with like constantly. These meds are gonna make everything so much more unstable for me and I know it but I know it's gonna get better. I just wish my mom was here. I'm gonna go cry in peace so you don't have to see me cry. It's been literally five minutes and I stopped crying. Can you, like, what is happening to me? I was texting a lot of my friends when I started feeling really weird because a lot of them were put on Zoloft. They said that this is completely normal for the first day. I do feel a lot better knowing that I'm not just in my head and I'm not, like, almost just tricking myself into feeling this way, thinking that I do these things myself. I also think that a lot of people don't like me and then I just get in my head about that. They're just, like, tolerating me and nobody cares. I just get into this, this tum- I, I, I tumble. You know what I mean? I, I just I don't feel great. Um, I feel terrible still. I don't want this anymore. Everything just makes me want to throw up. I think I'm gonna throw up. I know you can't see me, but it's almost one o'clock and I can't go to bed when all day I've been feeling tired. First, I want to preface by saying there's probably gonna be a lot of crying in this video. I'm already really emotional as it is. Being on the medication, I've been a lot more emotional. I woke up once at six from hunger pains. Woke up again at nine. Woke up again at 12. I feel like every time I'm laying in this bed, I could just go back to bed. I just wish I wasn't alone having to do all of this. I wish that someone was here with me. I usually love being alone. This is the first time I've truly felt, I don't know, it's just so lonely. It also really affected my appetite, which was the most frustrating thing for me. With my past eating disorder and kind of relapsing recently, it's become really, really hard for me. I feel things that I don't know if I normally feel, and I act in ways that I don't know if 
if I normally would. And it's just really hard. <laughs> Today's just an emotional day, okay? When I cry, don't feel bad for me. I'm not asking for pity. I just cry. It's an expression of emotion. Also, I had a panic attack this morning. Super fun. Today's just cloudy. It's gray. People ask me how I feel. I just think of this symbol right now. That is the best way I can accurately describe it. My doctor said I could take the medication at night. I just have really bad headaches right now. My appetite is still not here and I know it should be. Every time I struggle with eating, I always call my mom and she knows exactly what to say and I know that she is trying so hard and I know that there's such a simple solution that is just so hard in my brain but I just have to think about my mom. I would do anything for her. I spent so long in recovering. I feel like now I'm just pressing the reset button like for what? I don't know because I know how I felt in those times too. It feels terrible. I just want my brain to shut up. I finally just went grocery shopping. I do feel a lot better mentally. I think that the meds are wearing off just because I'm switching the time of day I'm taking it because I took it over 24 hours ago out of my system. I just feel very tired. One of the side effects is actually muscle tenderness. But I was feeling my upper body to be very just sore yesterday. I'm gonna eat before I take my medication so it doesn't hit me as hard. Jordan was like, oh girl, you didn't eat before. No reason to hit you like a bus. What? Then why would the directions say to take with or without food? Hello guys. I know I have no tone in my voice. I am dead inside right now. Down the hatch. Let's go. I feel way more like a human. One thing I noticed about the medication is it makes me extremely, extremely drowsy. I woke up actually many times throughout the night. First, my dog woke me up 30 minutes into me falling asleep. I woke up again at 6 a.m. and I was like, oh my god, my stomach is in physical pain. I felt like I was pregnant and going through labor. My body's like, girl. Please. Girl, I'm trying. Okay, shut up. I talked to my mom and I ate. Also, because I want to go for a walk. This is the first day where I feel like I have energy. I've just been laying in bed all day. And if you know me, you know I love the outdoors. I'm not allowed to run. I got my running rights taken away from me. I honestly feel a lot better. I am tired. I'm not going to lie. I keep yawning. I took it back. I have to check you. I got hit with the biggest wave. Oh my god. I got hit with the biggest wave of fatigue that I ended up just sleeping until about 7 p.m. right now. I think I'm getting sick. My dog actually helps me. See him in the corner? Helps me become a little bit of a human being. I like a really think a part of a human being. Ah! My attention span is literally just, it's gone. Oh my god. I think I'm getting sick too. Wow. I just have a lot of things going on right now. I actually feel very depressed right now. My depression is insane right now. Like, I'm just thinking terrible things. I don't know, my brain's really, really mean to me. Hopefully I don't have any more breakdowns, so... Bad news, I'm checking in again. I just started journaling about my past few days. I've not seen a single person. Not a single person has wanted to be near me. Gosh, like if I'm so awful, like I'm sorry. I don't expect anything from other people too. It's just that I'm running on empty. I've been running on empty and I don't think people notice until it's almost like in their face. Really overwhelmed right now, but I think journaling is helping me. So I'm just gonna keep going at it. Probably the worst night of sleep I've gotten just on and off the whole night. Uh, I mean, I go shower. I'm just scared I'm gonna faint in the shower because it almost happened once. I feel even worse than I did that time. I'm so tired. I cannot today. I feel like a zombie. I lost all my sparkle. Damn. Currently in a heated blanket. I want to sleep. I've been on Zoloft for like the past few days and it has made me feel terrible. Now I'm switching to Lexapro. I just you took my Lexapro. Yo, what's up guys? Lexapro is a drug. I don't, I don't, I don't. That I am now on and I hope I fall asleep. I took a little nap. Honestly, I feel way better. I don't feel as emotional. I honestly, if anything, just feel emotionless. <laughs> I love that the sun's coming in through the windows though. This is nice. At least I don't feel like the world is out to get me today. I actually did leave my house today. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm just tired, but I think the tiredness is from not eating. And so I left today to go get a bagel in honor of Nicole. This is her favorite thing, Tompkins Square bagels. I have hiccups. Mm, I have more energy. I'm not a freaking zombie today. Let's go. But I also haven't taken my second dose of Lexapro yet. Who's gonna try and eat my bagel? Hey, little guy. He has been the sweetest. He's literally been taking care of me so much. Right, baby? No, okay. Look at you, baby. You're my best friend. Lexapro time. I'm deciding to take it about 12 to 1 p.m. This time I have food in my stomach and hopefully it won't affect me as bad as Zoloft. I don't think I got a good gauge of what Lexapro did to me yesterday because I did take Zoloft the night before. Let's take it slow and let's just kind of work at home today. So far, Lexapro for the win. I'm on the phone with Justin. Yo, who this? The vlog. Oh, yo, what's up, guys? My doorman just called me. It said I had delivery. Natalio brought me food. It's a salad. Just a pancakes. We're eating today. We're working on this today. I don't know where this is from, but it looks so gas. Thanks, Natalio. Mmm. It is so good. The thought that someone cared about me and knew I'm struggling and brought me food. Like, I will eat for you, Natalio. I will eat this for you. He'd be like, it's vegetarian. You're vegetarian, right? Not vegan? 
That's probably what he'd say to me. It was so sweet. It was so kind. Thank you, Natalio. I really appreciate it. I just got off the phone with Justin. He even says that I've been acting more like myself today. He said when I was on Zoloft, I was not acting like myself at all. I've also been really eating more today, which is good because I'm not trying to decompose entirely. Heat waves is playing. The light is coming through the windows. I'm editing with my dog. I'm so happy. I don't know how long this wave is gonna last. And I'm not saying that Zoloft sucks. I'm just saying Zoloft was not right for me. I hope Lexapro is the one for me. I really don't know how I'm supposed to know. It's only day two, so I don't think it would have a lot of big changes, but at least it's not attacking me the way that Zoloft did. It really changed me as a person. Did not enjoy that at all. The lighting is terrible because I just took a nap, so I turned the lights down to 10%, and my dog and I, we napped together at the same time. I was on TikTok because I was gonna go back to bed, but I saw this TikTok, and now we need to listen to the song. I forgot about this song. When I first saw you. Oh yeah. Travel up in hotel, secret little running, boom. Going places we can't even pronounce. New running song, when I'm healthy again, unlocked. That's tonight's mood. I'm gonna hopefully go to bed. I wouldn't say I have energy. I just have like random bursts of energy. Still tired though. At least day two, we're vibing. Oh my God, I'm gonna listen to the song on repeat. That sleep was so terrible. I slept until noon today. I'm so tired still though. Me tired, baby. Me too. Oh my lord, huh? We should let the sunlight in today. I gotta take my dog out. We kind of hibernated this morning, the two of us together. He's literally my best friend. Bro, I don't know what I would have done without you, buddy. I'm taking this one without food today. I am not hungry at all. Gabby and I both woke up at the same time in the middle of the night. We woke up because we were hungry, so we both ate at like five in the morning. I miss Gabby. Gabby's also helping me get in through this. Love you, Gabby. I miss Gabby. I miss Gabby so much. That's Let's go take my dog out and like look like a human being, you know what I mean? This isn't gonna cut it for Tell me. We can either be happy or screaming, oh, hope please. Step out his whip and hop in mine. Yes, All of your worries it's off right. your mind, baby. When I'm with you, lose track of time. Tell me why I ain't heard from you late, Shorty. Tell me how to grab your attention, feel like I'm going past my exit on the We've officially made it one week on our medication journey. This guy has been here for me through it all, but I love you. I also went back on Instagram today. I didn't even take my Lexpro yet today, but I already feel like, you know, we got stuff to do today. Let's do stuff today. Right, Rue, baby? Oh, baby. Taking the medication, it won't instantly solve my issues, you know what I mean? But it will give... Bruh. Oh my god. See what I mean? He loves me. It will put me in a better mindset to start not being my biggest roadblock because of a chemical imbalance in my brain that has just been here for the past. I don't know how long it has stopped me from doing everything I've wanted to do. Even though there have been many times throughout this journey where I feel like I almost gaslit myself, especially at the beginning when I was taking Zoloft, I was like, it has gotten worse. Maybe this is like how I'm supposed to be feeling normally in a way. Now that I'm on Lexpro, I think it's a lot better. I can't wait to see how it continues working for me in the future. I'm excited that I am taking the first steps. You know what's something that has helped me a lot? This song. I never be the one you take home to mom. <laughs> I'm trying to talk. Give me one second. Baby Roo. When I wake up, you know, I'm tired, obviously. My sleep is still not great, but it's not like I have no energy to do anything. Like, I want to do things, and I've always wanted to do things, and now I finally can do things. And it's amazing and it's wonderful. My biggest first step was always just talking to people. I was hesitant to see a psychiatrist and a professional for the longest time. It took me over six months to get the courage to go. Finally I did and I wish I had gone a long time ago. It's better late than never. I'm here for you and you have wonderful friends who are here for you. And Rue, you're there for them too, right baby? Oh, you're there for them too. Rue is there for you guys too. I've never felt so loved by this guy. What is going on, baby? To all the messages, to everybody who's reached out to me, to any comments, I appreciate them more than you ever know. People need people, and I needed people so badly this week, and I appreciated everybody. I will always remember the people who are there for me at the lowest of lows, and not just my highest of highs, because that is true friendship, and I love you all. If you like this video, <laughs> make sure you give it a like. If you really like me, don't forget to subscribe. Comment anything you want down below. Ask me any questions, anything I will answer. You guys have a great day, and I love you. Baby, on my mind, can't get back to the cabin. Lucy, I'm moving too fast. When I kiss you so.